could tell. That one's going to be in the gap unless Trout turns on the burners. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna throw up. So I think that we can all agree that content hasn't been the best to start off in 2022, but this right here, this 93 could tell Marte as well as the 97 brand new legend with the Takashi card art, Carlos Delgado. This right here is what we have been waiting for. I cannot wait to see the stats on Carlos Delgado, but today's video is going to focus on Cattell Marte. And if we can get this video to 2000 likes, I will bring that 97 Delgado debut tomorrow. But focusing on Marte, he's got a bunch of different primary positions. He has a buttery, smooth swing. He's got the contact. If you get him up to parallel one, he's gonna have 80 power to both sides. The defense, even at shortstop, is pretty good. I will say, probably not the best idea to use him in center because he only has 64 speed but we're going to use him as our number two hitter and a reminder if you want to check out the carlos delgado debut what are his stats oh my goodness what's the point of even putting out a 92 anthony rizzo if you're going to release this card in a chase pack like rizzo is completely pointless now I mean, I shouldn't say completely pointless because I don't think that's fair to all of the no money spent people out there, but you have to admit that Carlos Delgado is way better than anyone that you can put at first base, not named Frank Thomas. Okay, so we are the home team in back-to-back -back videos and my opponent also has Cattell Marte as well as uh, Parallel 5, Kurt Gibson and Mike Mussina. This, this person has to be a content creator. Change up out and away. That one works to perfection. We get his Cattell Marte to pop up to Kurt Gibson. Come on. Cattell's first opportunity, that's 90. He's in there. <sighs> I saw my life flash before my very own eyes. That was a changeup directly down the middle. I, I am very surprised. I cannot believe that. Pablo Lopez, this is the player of the month. Pablo Lopez escapes a little jam. I want that to go up the middle. But it's not going to because I chased a stupid sinker. Here we go. Cattell Marte making his debut. He's got the Diamondbacks jerseys on. We got to go off. <laughs> That's a home run. That's a home run if I keep that fair. Oh, wow. He was afraid of Cattell. We get a walk. That's one of the few walks I've taken all year. That is a very, very unfortunate home run. That one's leaving, right? Nope. I cannot believe my small little pea brain decided to swing at that pitch. Thank you for swinging at the first pitch. I want this game to go by just as fast as the other one. I think my other gameplay got finished in 25 minutes. I, I don't know how people are able to get their hands inside on these sinkers and cutters. Okay, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is using a lacrosse stick instead of a baseball bat. He's able to get his hands out there. That's a one, two, three inning. That's a base hit for... Why am I this early against Mike Mussina? Come on, Buzz. Attaboy, J-Ram. I know we were a little bit early, but J-Ram is playing up today. Plus 10 to both contact and power. One nothing good, guys. That's my boy, J-Ram. I love him. Build the statue. Grady up the middle. That is going to be an easy out to a shortstop. I think his creative player is that short. Man, that sinker from Mike Mussina, for whatever reason, has a ungodly amount of movement. So it starts in the zone and ends up below the zone. And that is going to be a line out to Kurt Gibson. Always, oh wait, no, it's not. It's gonna be a double with Ali Rutt. Oh, no, wait, oh, wait, wait, I'm there. Pablo, look, <laughs> Pablo, come on, buddy, keep it fair. You know what's funny to me is that they praise realism and then they don't have the universal DH because I don't know why. That was a perfectly located changeup, but then it was a horrible idea. Ended up being a good idea. Try again next time, Mike. Might have some better luck. Here we go, Cattell Marte up for the second time. I get the strikeout, Ali blocks it, and we get the out. Here we go, going to the bottom of the third, we have Gibson, Marte, and Trout, so our top of the order is now coming up. I, I can, <laughs> dude, the controls in this year's game are so sensitive, I thought for sure that was gonna be a check swing. Cattell, that one's gonna be in the gap unless Trout turns on the burners. Don't you dare. Wow, that is going to be a triple. Um, I'm gonna stay at second, actually. I don't wanna risk it. Cattell Marte has been on twice already. Okay, I'm gonna... How did I just go through his glove? Mm, he got me on the cutter inside. So if you are smart, what you'll do is anytime a left-handed hitter comes up, you just spam cutters inside. We'll swing at them. Probably, yeah, probably not the best idea to throw a 
fastball in the zone to a guy named um, Mike Trout. Oh my, Jose. That's exactly the play that he made in yesterday's game against the White Sox. Legitimately, the exact same play. All right, well, maybe the sinker is a more viable option inside to righties than that fastball. Kirk to Kirk. All right. A little can of corn to end the top of the fourth inning. All right, we have to score some runs. This is a ball game. Yeah, sinker's inside. Just not fun. Another one for Jose. Another. Oh, that one didn't. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. I have a really good feeling that Grady is about to pop off for his seventh home run. Watch this. I'm going to try that same pitch. Sinker downstairs. And he doesn't swing because he's smart. Oh, man. If if Chase Utley can't get that, no one can. That is a double play. Cattell start it. Chase Utley finish it. Two down. Oh, boy. No. No. Uh, oh. That one stays in the yard. Thank you, baby Jesus. I cannot believe what I'm doing with Adley Rutschman in this gameplay. Usually he's pretty good, but that is back-to-back -back doubles for Mr. Adley. Okay. Oh. <laughs> we moved the runner. That could have been bad. Okay, do not swing at the sinker. Actually, I'm going to set up for it. I... It works out. We put the ball in play, and that's all that matters. I... Tried. I knew he was going to go sinker down, and I completely missed it. I'm sorry, I could tell. But we head to the top of the sixth inning. We grab the lead back, but honestly, one run is not enough. Mm hmm There we go. I don't remember how many strikeouts we have, but that's one of the few. It's like I'm trying to give up the lead with how terrible these pitches are. So he gets lucky with the foul ball. He has his own Cattell Marte up. I'm going to go with the sinker down because it keeps working for my opponent. Yeah. Yes, that one's going to stay fair, Frank. Steps on first base. Come on. Not again. Do not give Mike another infield single. <sighs> Atta boy. Sometimes being early pays off. 92 speed on first base. I kind of want to steal. Okay, at least we beat it out. I, did you guys see me set up my PCI outside? I knew that he was going to go cutter away, not sinker. And I was still early. Finally, a good. This one is smashed down the right field line. Way back there. Fair and gone. Tie ball game. I just wanted one out. Okay, my confidence is back. That home run took, almost took the life out of me. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm gonna throw up, dude. That's bad. That was the only pitch in my head that I thought, I haven't thrown this. The slurve works. That ball was hit 421 feet. So, yeah, I, he got all of that one. Oh, my God. This is just depressing. Pablo Lopez, appreciate the service, but you're done, though. I'm going to bring in Josh Hader. So, maybe he tricked me, and he brought in Juan Soto as a decoy, and there's Troy Gloss. Fantastic. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> this game really sometimes makes you want to put your head through a hole. Or what? It makes you want to put your head through a wall and create a big hole with your own skull. Okay, let's see who my opponent brings in from the bullpen. I'm actually hoping that it's a roll of Chapman. Oh, th this is the one guy I did not want to see. Just missed that one. Dude. That wasn't even a bad inning. I made Devin throw 13 pitches. Usually, I'm the guy that gets out in three pitches against him. So, maybe that's a good sign that we're going to score later. That is a, a beautiful pitch, Hater. One out in the eighth. I mean, he hit that baseball um, just early. But it's a changeup, so that's cool. That is a swing. I'm sick of it. Dude, I... <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, cool. Cool. That's that, fine. I want to win this game so bad. I'm actually annoyed right now. Oh, he... Okay. Well, 
my timing got messed up on that when he pressed R2 at the perfect moment where the game couldn't recognize that he was pressing it and it messed me up. Thank you, Kirk. All right, I don't know if that's going to be a double, but this sets up Ketel Marte to have one of the bigger at-bats of the game. Ooh, he brings in Kenley Jansen, so he's got the cutter, the sinker. All right. All right. Oh, look at that. I just had to be a little bit better with my PCI, and it's a tie ball game. Also, I just... I just realized it's a three-run game, so that would have not been a tie ball game if we hit a home run with Ketel Marte. All right, let's not give up another run. Very easy. I can get there. Atta boy. Okay. What kind of throw is that? We almost botched that completely, even though it was a good throw. I mean, sometimes you just get beat. Plain and simple. Okay. I mean, at least I feel a little bit better about my confidence. That... That was cool. Bruh. I, I told myself, Fuzz, he's going to throw a sinker downstairs. I got my sinker downstairs, but I, I can't get base hits on pitches below the zone. Only my opponents can. Well, there is the Kittel Marte debut. Mike Trout for my opponent goes three for four and is the player of the game. I can't wait to debut Carlos Delgado. So 2,000 likes and you guys can have it.